and Kale today are going to be handing out some glow tracks. And um, you want to show them, Kale? Mm. What glow tracks? Okay, that one. And which, what else? That one. The Ten Commandments. Today's Ten Commandments. Um, is there hope after death? Okay. What else you got there? Oh, this is my favorite. It goes with the shirt. Look. Why do I go to church on Saturday? Okay. And what is that one? War in Heaven. And then what about that pack down there? You want to get that one? Oh, there's one more that I want to show you guys. Okay. And this one. Uh, what is that? Uh, living Water. Okay. And then the pack, we got a fresh pack of glow tracks. Uh, this one, I believe, is Promise of Peace. Here's the, how our neighborhood looks like, well, where we'll be living for the next uh, maybe month. And yes, the update is that we have, we had another buyer, another offer, who offered just a little less than our first one. Praise the Lord. Uh, but uh, since the original buyer backed out at the last minute, uh, his deposit went to us, which makes the offer, that our second offer, uh, this one, just actually a lot better. So praise the Lord, he gave us even a better deal. And this new offer does not include our appliances, which we were kind of worried about. Um, but praise the Lord, um, he has gotten us through. Uh, and now we are officially in escrow again. So in, in 30 days by November, um, November 6th or so, we will be out of this house. So it went from October 11th to November 6th. We did stay in our home for about another month. And so we are excited again. Uh, we knew that the Lord would come through. The divine realtor has come through again. So amen. Thank you for all your prayers. So uh, we are passing out glow tracks today. Hey guys, we're passing out glow tracks and this is one of them. And the reason why we're passing them out is because we, wanna, uh, we want everybody to learn about God. And we love God. And I just wanted to be reminded of why we're moving out to the country. Um, you know, often people think that people move out to the country just to retire, uh, but no, this is where we want to focus more on God's work, and that is one of the main reasons. So glow tracks, these are something that me and my family just do. It's really simple. We want to just do a little bit of ministry around our neighborhood and get people acclimated to some of these hidden gems that are found in the Bible. So thank you. Uh, GLOW for putting these out, which is giving light to our world. That's what GLOW stands for, just in case you don't know what that is. And so I also wanted to plug in, uh, I'm going to do a little walking here. I uh, wanted, also wanted to plug in, um, wanted to plug in that uh, handsthathealist.com. I know I promoted that on my one of my other episodes, but we are a self-supporting ministry. We do medical missionary work and evangelism uh, at the same time in other countries. We're having one in India from December, I believe it's December 28th to J January, I'm not sure. Check out the website. Then the one I'm going to be going to is the one in the Philippines. It's in uh, the city of Camigan, Camigan Island. We will be doing five um, evangelistic series simultaneously on that island and along with medical missions. And that will be, I believe, next year in August. So we definitely want to be ready for that. Always could use volunteers. Again, the website is www.handsthathealus.com and so if any of you are interested please go to that website and, um, and, and volunteer or you can donate um, all right and so we are walking so I want to reiterate that it's all about the advancement of truth and the advancement of God's work and as the week progressed I was also asked by a friend of mine to speak at the, uh, the Adventist Academy uh, here in our city uh, to speak to, to the youth. And so as I've been given all these opportunities to uh, speak to people and to share my testimonies, and it's always awesome to do God's work. That is priority over anything else. So the country is just the perfect move for us so we can actually not only develop our characters, but to do God's work for the advancement of His truth during these last days. I also wanted to read a quote uh, regarding moving out of the country, 
Um, a quote that really inspired me this week, uh, that it just was a divine providence that God was able to deliver this quote. A brother of mine uh, sent a text and said, I have to read this. This is taken from early writings. And it says, I saw that if any held on to their property and did not inquire of the Lord as to their duty, he would not make duty known and they would be permitted to keep their property. And in the time of trouble, it would come up before them like a mountain to crush them and they would try to dispose of it, but would not be able. I heard some mourn like this. The cause was languishing. God's people were starving for the truth and we made no effort to supply the lack. Now our property is useless. Oh, that we had let it go and laid up treasure in heaven. I saw that a sacrifice did not increase, but it decreased and was consumed. I also saw that God had not required all of his people to dispose of their property at the same time, but if they desired to be taught, he would teach them in a time of need when to sell and how much to sell. Some have been required to dispose of their property in times past to sustain the Advent cause, while others have been permitted to keep theirs until a time of need. Then, as the cause needs it, their duty is to sell. Hey guys, we just got done. It's about sundown right now. Um, and we just passed out a hundred, about 150 glow tracks. So mission accomplished. Praise the Lord. And we just pray that uh, those glow tracks get to people who who need, uh, who need the little nugget of truth to get them closer to Jesus. So pray for them as well. And I hope that you guys are doing a little bit of missionary work as well around your neighborhood and that you um, also spread the news of the Lord. And, um, and you never know, there's so many testimonies that come out of these little glow tracks. So uh, praise the Lord to God be the glory. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. I also wanted to promote um, if any of you are interested in volunteering this December Christmas I think 25th to 27th your pathway to health is having a mega clinic at Phoenix in Phoenix at the Phoenix Convention Center and that's your pathway to health if you look that up on the internet uh, you'll be able to volunteer there um, I went I was privileged and honored to go two years ago for my birthday at the LA Convention Center where they served thousands of, of people in need of, of medical uh, medical attention or medical um, services and they just there's just over th thousands of volunteers as well I just recall one time when there was uh, one person I was actually I'm not skilled in any medical at all but I was at registration and, and someone uh, we were praying with someone and they found out that we were all volunteers that we volunteered our time to help uh, the city of LA and uh, they were touched and moved and and as these people were, were seeing I uh, just uh, it you just knew that Jesus was there um, it was just it was just an awesome experience and I encourage you to go they are in need of volunteers their goal is 3,500 volunteers and they're sending out emails to anyone who can volunteer um, if you're interested uh, this Christmas from the 25th to 27th your pathway to health so friends remember that there's just a lot of things going on in the world today that are just uh, in discouraging, but also encouraging. We see a lot of things going on um, with the movement as far as the Protestant movement, October 31st, the death of Protestantism. We see the ecumenical movement of all the churches uniting. Uh, we see all the disasters, all of the, all of the um, just, all of the destruction you're seeing and the rumors of wars and we're getting closer. Jesus is coming soon, friends. So we need to advance the truth. We need to continue to do God's work. So as we move into the, into the countries, let us keep God's work as our number one priority as we character develop and as we be close in nature with God to refresh ourselves and also to recharge ourselves to go back into the cities to preach a dream, his message, and to save souls. Let this be our number one reason uh, for moving to the country. Um, so, uh, until next time, God bless. Be blessed and be a blessing.